all right welcome back in this video i'm going to show you a few tips that might help you in chemistry and physics so you can do a lot of things like using this calculator first uh, you, if you're not using this calculator you're using the other type you can also do the same thing just that after the first step you will have everything written on the back of the on the cover of the calculator behind you see some things written there and some numbers so the first thing you do is after turning on your calculator click sh press shift to get your constant click on number seven you can see this const written there if you're using the other calculator also do the same thing so just click on that if you're using the other calculator just look for whatever constant you want on the back of the calculator and select the number choose the number so in this case you can choose different types of constants you have the universal constant electromagnetic atomic and nuclear physiochem physiochem basically means uh physics and chemistry and then we have these adopted values and others so let's go to so let's go to physi physiochem so physical chem if you go click on number four you can see a lot of constants over here so like number six yeah that's universal that's the gas constants r and then number three over there that's avogadro's number so in case you forget any of these constants you can just come back here and find everything here and that number nine over there at the sigma that's stefan boltzmann's constant so we have all the constants over here you can see them and if you come over here to atomic and nuclear you can see some other constants that you know there is the same sign as normal so if you see any sign that you know you can basically just use it so we have the universal constants over here you see big g number seven that's the universal gra uh, gravitational constant and yeah we also have the electromagnetic constants all these are electromagnetic constants so if you go down you can see the adopted values values that are gotten from other values like atm and the rest so yeah and you can also see one more over here so anyways these are if you're using the calculator as i said you can see them all at the back of the calculator the cover of the calculator so let's go to physical chem and see so you see this number three that's avocado's number so you click on number three and click equal to so you can see you know that avocado's number is 6.02 times 10 is 23 as you can see this is the avocado's number so let's give an example and try to solve an example using those constants so the first step is click on shifts then number seven that we get your constants so we go to physical chem that's number four and let's use r the gas constant this is the value of r click equal to and you find the value of r as 8.314 which is the normal value of r that you know so let's see what again for something and we were asked to find the pressure of a gas so we have where n is one times r so we click on shift and then number seven that is constant physical chem number four and then we can see that's number six then rt let's say we're giving our 20 uh, temperature as 273 and then over v and then let's say we're giving our volume as 27.4 so this is our pressure using that value so this is an easy way that might help you when solving physics chemistry and physics questions you can use your calculator so something else that might help you which is also the same step if using the other type as i said before everything just written at the back of the calculator using the other type of calculator so if you're using this one you just click on shifts over here then number eight that's conversions so you can make different types of conversions over here we have length area volume 
mass we have velocity pressure energy power and finally we have temperature so let's take temperature for example the temperature is for when we want to convert from degree celsius to degree fahrenheit and then we have pressure velocity and others let's take pressure for example number two so we can see all the different units for pressure you want to convert from atmosphere to pascals from a of mercury to pascal pascal to atmosphere and so on and so forth so let's say we want to convert from um, atmosphere to pascal so let's take the first one number one all you have to do is just write down your value for atmosphere go left then you click on the amount you want to convert the number so let's say you want to convert 180 m to pascals you get 101325 and we know already that that is what 180 m is in pascal 101325 so yeah so you can find all the other conversions there and good luck on your exams that's it thank you for watching please like and subscribe